What is going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video we're going to be taking a look at the new Vanguard Quartermaster Vendor weapons that will be coming with the House of Wolves on May 19th but before we get into the video and checking out all these weapons and their mods can I just ask you guys if you could leave a like, it really does help out, let's try and reach 4000 likes, that would be insane if we could but getting straight into the video and the first weapon we're going to check out is called the pest control matrix now this is a auto rifle um, and i actually brought this and used it which i will show you guys gameplay to come as soon as i'm clear to show it you guys um, it's mods are well as we know we can ascend to a 365 you can reforge it with a gunsmith and like every primary weapon you can buy from across the tower vendors is a kinetic damage weapon okay getting on to its mods we have Hit fire, this weapon has bonus accuracy when firing from the hip. We have lightweight, speed reload, and we have small bone. Increased range and stability, slow reload, reduced magazine size. We then have army of one, unassisted kills. With this weapon, reduced grenade and melee cooldown. Not a bad looking auto rifle to be honest, has got quite a high impact as well. But like I said, as soon as I'm clear to show you guys gameplay of it, I will do so, so stay tuned for that. Next weapon we're going to take a look at is called the 55A All Fate, which is a pulse rifle. Which before we even get into its mods, I am liking the look of, I really am. Looks so sexy, it's unbelievable. Okay, its mods are, we have Sure Shot IS, we have Focus Lens FLA5 and we have Red Dot ORS1. We then have Grave Rubber, melee kills, while this weapon is equipped, have a chance to refill the magazine. We then have Flared Magwa, reload this weapon even faster. We have Snapshot and we have Casket Mag, increased magazine size, reduced stability. We then have Hidden Hand, this weapon gains better target acquisition. So all in all I'm actually liking the look of that Porsche rifle, definitely one I will be trying out for damn sure. The next weapon we're going to take a look at is the 1 slash 1 Sinus Feet. Don't quote me on the pronunciation of that, I'm usually wrong and I probably am with this one. Now it is a scout rifle, let's just take a look at its mods, looking quite unique in itself as you can see as well. Okay so its mods are, we have Quick Draw IS, we have Focus Lens FLA5 and we have Red the ORS. We then have Battle Runner kills with this weapon, grant a brief boost to the sprint's top speed. We then have Single Point Sling, Explosive Rounds, and Small Bone, increased range and stability, slow reload, and reduced magazine size. Last mod we have is Outlaw. Precision kills with this weapon, dramatically increased reload speed. Okay, the next weapon we're going to take a look at is the Give Take Equation, which is a fusion rifle. Loving that name. Getting into its mods, we have Red Dot ORS1, we have True Star IS, and we have Red Dot ORS. We then have Spray and Play, increases the reload speed of this weapon when the mag is empty. We then have Skip Rounds, High Caliber Rounds, and Hand Laid Stock, increased stability, reduced range. Last one we have is Grenadier, kills this weapon, reduce the cooldown of your grenade. If I got this fusion rifle, I would definitely reforge it, I really would. But it does look quite good. Look at that impact and you can make the stability almost max as well. Not bad whatsoever. Okay, next up we're going to take a look at is called the Amplified Geo D6, which is a sniper rifle which looks incredible. It really does. Look at that, it looks fucking sexy. Really does. I like the look of some of these new designs on these uh, sniper rifles. Truly badass. Okay, its mods are Ambush SLH25, which is my favourite stop in the game. We then have Longview SLR10, and then we have Hawkeye SLR15. We then have Outlaw Precision Chaos of this weapon, dramatically increased reload speed. We then have Skip Rounds, we have Single Point Sling, and we have Injection Mode, increased stability, faster handling, reduced range. Last mod we have on this sniper is Shoot to Loot, shooting any type of ammo picks it up, which could come in very handy in PvE, really good. Okay guys, unfortunately, my actual footage cut right there, so we didn't record the heavy machine gun. But all in all, the weapons you did see weren't too bad, to be honest. I'm liking the look of the pulse rifle for sure. I'm liking the look of the sniper rifle for damn sure. The auto rifle, like I said, I've got footage which I will show to you guys as soon as I'm allowed. But tell me down below what you're waiting for here. Thanks for stopping by as always. Do drop a like with your appreciate support. And peace out until next time. Peace!